Danny Welbeck's move to Arsenal, if it means that he starts more, is that a bonus from your point of view, from an England perspective? I think the biggest bonus is for him, of course. You know, when you're when you're a player of his calibre and you find yourself at Man United with such an enormous competition for places that you don't always get the starts you would like, I think that it's good for him now that he's going to a club where hopefully he will get more starts and he will get more playing time because we can't deny that it's it's not easy for players who don't get a lot of playing time in their clubs and spend a lot of time as substitutes or playing only small parts of games to then come and play 90 minutes for England in a you know, certainly an equally intensive situation. It's never easy for them, so I'm pleased for him. I obviously, because I select Danny Welbeck all the time, think that Arsenal have signed, signed a good player. But as usual, I must, you know, always add that as far as I'm concerned, you know, my job is with England and the players I choose. I don't wish to make any any uh, suggestions or or make any comments about what clubs do with their players. It's up to me to pick them or not pick them and to play them or not play them. But I cannot deny that the more they play and the more experience they get, especially at Champions League level, the better it is for me at international level. We were hoping that Jack Colback would recover from the, the nasty kick that he, he received. He's been having treatment since since we got together on Sunday evening, but unfortunately it's, it's looked like it's going to be a day too soon for him. But we're still hopeful that he'll recover uh, by Thursday, so when we go to, to St George's Park he'll train, but unfortunately he's out of the game for tomorrow, but he's the only one. Can you give us any clues as to your starting line-up tomorrow? Be a young team. Is that a good clue? I was, uh, you already perhaps worked work that out already. But um, the, t the team does know, in actual fact, I have I have uh, let the team know, but I think I'll still let people wait and see, retain an element of surprise. But I think, as I've said so many times before, it is a team which contains some very interesting young talents and uh, a team with enormous potential and of course tomorrow night will be the first chance they'll get to show that. We've only been together since Sunday evening so this is only the sort of second day with one evening but we've we seem to have crammed an awful lot into that period of time with our with our meetings and with our training sessions um, and I certainly get the the feeling that uh, the players can't wait really to kick off this new campaign and kick it off with an important and quite difficult game tomorrow night at Wembley. So I'm confident that the players are really ready to go. And of course now it's all a question of when they cross the white line and the referee blows the whistle because all the talking in the world doesn't help you. It's only what you do on the field that counts. It's always important obviously to hit the ground running, but more so this year, Roy, after the disappointment of the summer? Yeah, maybe. I mean... There are things you can't guarantee, and you know, wanting it doesn't guarantee you're going to get it. But of course, we would, we would all, very, very much like to get two good results now, starting with tomorrow night, and and uh, get that feel-good factor. Also, on the other hand, we are still aware that you know the two-year journey is is a longish one. It's it's one which I think we'll see an awful lot of changes within the the team in team in terms of the way the team plays and plays together because a lot of these players won't have played together particularly and a lot of them will be very, very new in their international careers. I think as the time goes on those things will improve of course but uh, I can't disagree with you that uh, this will be a good time to get two good results, two good performances and to show everyone that um, my faith in the team and the potential of the team is justified. Well I know the best way of doing it and that's the the method that Wayne's just suggested, you know, to play well and to win, you know, there's no doubt that's what we're in the business to do and it is a good crowd and we've had fantastic support and, and certainly I've been very lucky because almost every game I've had at Wembley, even against opponents that in themselves aren't intrinsically attractive to the public, we've played in front of full houses, so it will be a new experience for me. But as Gary Neville was pointing out to me, you know, there was a, a time when he was playing when they couldn't get beyond 25,000 people. So let's keep things in perspective. But most importantly of all, we are grateful, very grateful, as Wayne has pointed out, to the people who, A, supported us so well in, in Brazil and who are going to come to the game tomorrow and I'm sure support us well. And, 
you know, we would just have to make certain that in our performances and with them, with the type of football that we can play, we we do re-engage with the public and we do show them that it's not just Wayne and I that believe that the future is quite bright. It actually is because we can prove that with our performances.